Good morning. Welcome to the day I go to Thailand. Still in Malaysia, obviously, because I need to be here before going to Thailand, where I've been for a while. But uh, 7.30, thought I'd start off slightly, very slightly earlier this morning, just because it's bloody hot. And it's actually really nice now. But I know what will happen, I do what I do all the time. I'll go find a place for coffee and just sit there for a bloody hour. Nope, I'm cracking on. Let's move, Thailand. Coffee and breakfast one. There's always a breakfast one when you're cycling. Never just breakfast. Done. I can't get over how how cheap coffee is. One ringgit, it's about 20p. Or less than that, 17p. I could drink it all day, that's the problem now. But today I'm climbing a mountain. When I get to uh, Thailand, I'll be going over the big climb to get in there. Not sure how big it is, not sure how how long it is. It's probably best I don't know to be honest. Morning again. Just did some shopping. Whoa. Nearly fell over. That's alright, let's try and get, do this again. Just did some shopping. Fucking hell. Jesus. There's too much weight on the front of these bars, they just bloody bend. Anyway, I did some shopping! Did some shopping. Uh, oh, I can't even show you, I can't even ride. I'll show you in a bit. Fuck's sake. Sorry for swearing as well. I am actually really sorry. I don't know how else to talk. And my, my little nephew told me off as well. Listen to this guy. Send a naughty word, Johnny. Watch your Freddy. Too much swearing. Send a naughty word. Time. It's not good. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey everybody, welcome to uh, What's in John's Bag. What's in John's Green Bag? Let's, let's have a look. Here we are, bit of, bit of plastic here. Here's my um, little green thing. Here we go. This is my little uh, wrap thing. I think it's a very straight tang. Good, it's like... Basically coconut. Little savings of coconut. Come back. Mm, bag area, what I'll do, I'll buy something, a little bag, pop it on here, like this. And then uh, easy access when I'm riding then, just like do 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 do. In, out. Little ball of uh, something. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of like a sandwich. It's also really, really, really wet. I don't know why it's so wet. It's like a sweet stuff. Slightly fried, I guess. Never eaten on camera before. This is quite, quite intense, but uh, just, just sugar. Just pure sugar, I don't know. How they make it so, Intense, but it's just sugar, basically. It's everywhere. I'm gonna have to eat the last one because it's getting everywhere. This sugar, and I don't wanna. I don't wanna, you know. I mean, I've had ants before. I don't wanna have ants again. So yeah, that's it. Green things and sugar. Hmm. Might need to brush my teeth though, because I feel like they're already decaying right now. <laughs> Cut one, the, what was it called? Something bucket. If it's got bucket written in the name, I think that means hill or top or something like that. So 
you know there's a climb ahead. And I probably shouldn't have eaten those sugary things either. I don't feel too good. Welcome to a bit of uh, geographical information from me. This mountain side here you can see, all the way across here. This is the Malaysian side. Obviously I'm still in Malaysia. The top of it is the Thai border, right there. So I presume the other side of it is obviously Thailand. But this, I thought that was pretty cool. I guess welcome to John's travel show. Ge geog geography uh, 101 coming come to you on YouTube. Thanks. I'm off to go climb a mountain now. See ya. This is one hell of a fucking climb. And I don't know why, it's so hard. It doesn't even seem that steep. But I just like, I'm in the lowest gear, sweating, my heart is going crazy. I have two theories. Those sweet things I ate, all six of them. Not only that, but I ran out of water and I found some water, but opposite that was a place with coffee and they had donuts. And I do like a donut. I'm not gonna lie. They were like kind of small ones, you know, so it's okay. And I said to her like, how much the donuts? And she said, uh, oh, three for one ringgit. That's like 20p for three donuts. Like why would she even do that to me? So of course I went with three donuts and a coffee. Literally just about two kilometers before this. I'm not gonna swear, this blimey bl beep climb. And now look at me, I'm sweating donuts, and coffee and... I mean it's crazy, like... And the sun is like, right there as well, I'm not hiding from it. This is what I do, this is, this is why I, I, I get so annoyed with myself, because this morning I woke up, it was beautiful, it was hot, it was nice and cool. And instead I went for a coffee again. And had breakfast, and I should have just carried on. Instead, I went and found some sweet stuff, and then I ate those, and recorded videos, and then got another coffee, and got donuts, and then now I'm like uh, two hours late, and I should have just should have just gone. I mean, I have bloody like bars. These would have been perfect. I could have just literally done breakfast on these, and just got up here like two hours ago, and it was nice and cool. Malay border. I'm out of Malaysia, I guess now. 
Now it's just no man's land for two kilometers and then I'm in Thailand. It's kind of a weird feeling really. It feels quite exciting because you're going into another country that you've been thinking about for ages. I'm not sure it's going to be much different for a while anyway. But hopefully I'm going to climb this bloody mountain. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Thailand border. That's it. It's just this little thing here. Let's see uh, if I get sent back home. That's it. I'm in, in Thailand. It's that, that was that simple. Just filling a little form, standing in the queue. It's like getting off a plane, you know, when you get to a new country, you got to fill that little form in. And then I've walked out and it's literally like a shopping centre. It's just shopping. I mean, if I can find a drink using the same currency as before, that'd be pretty cool, but I don't know. I don't really know what to make of this. A bit too much. Okay, a few things. So far, everyone in Thailand is just chilled out. Like, everywhere we go, everyone's just lying down, chilling, in hammocks. Even the houses are like half built. Oh, sometimes. It's a nice one. And uh, second thing, I forgot the, chi the time changes. So, I've actually gained an hour. Gained an hour? It's gone back an hour. Yeah, it's gained an hour. And, uh, and now I'm about 7k from where I've got to be. And it's only like 11, like half 11. So I've got a whole day left. Blimey. And the guy I'm staying with is called Mr. Bampot. How cool is that, Mr. Bampot? Oh, I'm so excited to meet Mr. Bampot. We'll meet him in about 8K's time. I'm never sure about sticking the camera in someone's face though, so see what he's like, I'll ask him first. I mean, I've got the whole day with him, so I'm sure he won't mind. Anyway, welcome to Welcome to Thailand. Everyone seems nice so far. I chilled. Actually, before I see Mr. Bampot, I need to go to two important things. One, get some cash. Bats, prim, uh, premium, premium bat. No, it's a Thai, Thai bat. Uh, I have no money, and I keep seeing all these nice things, and I can't buy anything. And then a SIM card. I've been without internet for like two hours. It's killing me. So I'll go get a SIM card, maybe. Probably not though. I don't think they're talking much English here as well. It might be a little bit more difficult than Malaysia. But, um, I mean, which is really annoying. Everyone should just talk English. It would make the whole world much easier for me. But um, I understand. Anyway. That place looks lovely. I want to go, go there. All right, let's get a bat. Bloody hell. Fucking monkeys everywhere. Anyway, I'm gonna get myself killed in a minute. When I go into those big mega mall places with the air con and the, you know, swanky floor, I always take my helmet in, 
even though I can just lock it up with my bike and I'd have to carry it, but there's no way on earth I'm walking in to a big mall with people who just stare at you wearing, well, wearing spandex to them guys. Spandex and looking sweaty and these shoes that clip and sound every time you walk around. If you got the helmet, you look like a cyclist. If you don't got the helmet, you look like a weirdo. So rule number one, always take your helmet into public places where your bike's not visible. D don't, just don't, don't look like an idiot like me sometimes. I'm kind of not gonna do anything with Mr. Bampot today. I was thinking about just introducing him and stuff, but I kind of feel really awkward about doing shit like that. So um, I'm just gonna say, check out my route. I've got a Kamut profile. If you don't know what Kamut is, you're missing out. Um, but here, linked, just there. I, if I can do that, I don't even know if I can do that. But if it is, that's my Kamut profile. My probably, Kamut was about, well, the ride was probably about 80K, potentially, I think, I think it was. Bit of a climb in there, bit of a sweat in there. Uh, I got a bit of a heat rash as well on my legs, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but uh, that's it. Done. Day one in Thailand. Join me tomorrow as I go on a big 140k ride all the way to see another guy called Kim from America. That's it. I'm going to play you out with my face again. <laughs>